Today I'm headed to a coffee shop with a challenge in mind to paint some more complex views from life. I thought I'd bring you along on another urban sketching adventure and share 5 tips for painting on location. As soon as I arrived, I fell in love with the atmosphere and the colors all around. If you've watched last week's video, you saw how I created some beautiful scenery at the park. And in this video, I decided to share my process in drawing people and buildings at a coffee shop called The Alchemist. I've only been here once before, and I was so happy to see their new additions to their atmosphere. When you walk in, there's a mini pathway that leads you to the whole theme, and when you open the door to walk inside, there is so much to walk around and see. There's art and writings on the wall. Every corner is filled with little antiques and cute quotes. I really just wanted to stay here all day. I took some time to walk around and really look at some little details. I was filled with so much excitement and inspiration, and I knew it would be really difficult to pick something to draw. The ambience was filled with little setups that can be perfect still lifes to paint, but I decided to go back and order some food and think about the one thing that actually struck my attention upon arrival. This brings me to tip number one, choose what initially grabs your attention. I decided to go back outside after ordering some food and I just couldn't forget about the colors and just that door outside of the cafe itself. It was a gated little space. As soon as I laid eyes on this building, it was giving me Italy vibes, the windows, the colors, the way that the foliage was framing the composition. I just had that warm feeling and I don't know, it just spoke to me. My cappuccino and meal have arrived. I came quite early and quite hungry, and I noticed some more people arriving, which is great because that means more fun sketching them. Now that I finished eating and have all my energy to paint, it was getting pretty busy here at the coffee shop. I made sure to find a seat off to the side with a nice umbrella for shade. Since I am outside and it's summer, I wanted to stay as cool as possible, so I always take into account where I'm gonna settle down. As I'm setting up my sketchbook, a nice little leaf landed on my sketchbook. And if I learned something from the previous video, it's definitely to look up wherever you're sitting. You can check out that video for some laughter. After setting up all of my supplies, I began to think about how exactly I'm going to position my composition in my sketchbook page. I'm going to be starting out with a red watercolor pencil, and this is going to help me compose my page by thinking about what sparked my attention first and what I'd like the focal point to be. When drawing out on location, it can get overwhelming, and it is a challenge, and since I had foliage and people and a building, it gets pretty complex. However, I was really thinking about framing that pink building that initially sparked my excitement to paint. And while sketching, I had it in the back of my mind to place it sort of in the center and have the foliage sort of around the area and the people in the center as well. Once I laid down a quick rough sketch, I switched over to my watercolor to begin laying out the sketch with my brush. At times, I find that using my brush to draw gives me a faster result, and if I see any large shapes to fill in, I'm able to quickly do that with some values. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on now. During this time, I'm really looking at what's in front of me and how everything is relative to one another. Since I'll be painting with gouache on top, I know that everything can be moved around, so if there's something that I want to change placement of, I simply paint over it with my brush. After my sketch is complete, I put some gouache out onto my palette, and I begin to lay out big shapes of color throughout the whole piece. I use a large flat brush for this, and this allows me to cover as much area as possible as quickly as possible. And I continue to think about the big shapes that I see, and this tip really goes for almost everything when I'm painting. Before I ever break anything down into details, I really train my mind to gather things into shapes. It's an ongoing learning process, and it's something I really enjoy implementing in my process. And whether you're painting something really simple or super complex, it's always a great concept to keep in mind.
once I've covered all of the areas in my sketchbook page with paint, I start thinking about the overlapping shapes that happen in front of the building. And I also usually work from the background forward. And from the corner of my eye, I noticed my visitor for today. The beauty about urban sketching is that there's always some surprise the moment has to offer. When out painting and drawing on location, there are certain things that you cannot control. The lighting will always change, people will always move, and if you're in a busy place or a busy street, there is somebody that will come up to you and look over your shoulder. The people in front of me that were sitting at the table on the left actually ended up moving to the table on the right, but I managed to make it work. As you're painting, some people may walk past by you and some people may say hello or they may just go up on their way. Although it may feel like the biggest weight on your shoulders, it's important not to get nervous and stay confident with your work. Don't be afraid to socialize. People will be really happy to see what you create and I promise you'll get smiles. Yeah, I'm just making a video for YouTube. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Thanks. We're still slowly building it up. Uh, at the end, you can like paint. I was like my first time painting. A yeah, long time. that's like good. Like that. It was really cool. Thanks. But yeah, I got. I got. Uh, inspired me to want to paint more. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. As I was painting, I had so many people come up to me and I made so many connections and friends. The workers at the cafe were coming to check in on me. They basically watched my process from start to finish. The owner of both of the restaurants actually ended up coming up to me and I had the pleasure of meeting him. After speaking with him for a little bit, he told me that the pink building is his new location of a dessert club, which I show a little tour of it at the end. But I was so happy to meet new people. Everyone was so sweet, and this is just another reason why I am so passionate about urban sketching. If you're watching this video and you met me that day, thank you so much for saying hello. When I finish my painting on location, I always like to write the name of the place that I was at, and when I look back at it later, I'll be brought back to that very moment. Painting from life and sketching on location has always had a very special place to my heart, and I love to make sure I find time for it. Thank you so much for the owner of The Alchemist and Lolita. Thank you for keeping me hydrated and well-fed. This was really delicious, unbelievable banana pudding. If you're ever in the area, you must try it out. Here is the finished painting on location. Today was a very special and fun and exciting day. I was really happy to take you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the whole process. And as I was packing up, the two workers that were checking on me throughout the day came to see the finished piece. Done. The sun's gone, but it's done. <laughs> sitting and painting for a few hours I went to go have some fun around in the atmosphere who said that we can't have fun on our own sometimes we have to be with our own thoughts and find things that we love and surprises happen along the way remember I mentioned the tour the owner gave me well this is the grand opening that actually happened one day ago everything inside was in tones of pink and they did a really beautiful job with the setup i was happy to look inside the little pink building that sparked my attention 
I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found the tips that I mentioned today helpful, and I hope this inspires you to go paint from life. Life is beautiful, and I'm so glad that I get to share the way I capture it with you. It's Jess here, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!